My wife and I just had a baby, raising the frightening specter of minivan ownership. Now, Kelly Blue Book already reviewed the latest generation Honda Odyssey, but when this one showed up with some mid-cycle updates, it seemed like a really good opportunity to re-examine the most family-friendly of Hondas through the eyes of a parent. Me. In its 2014 refresh, Honda added a bunch of safety features to the Odyssey, presumably because families have a lot more to live for than desperate loners. In EXL trims and higher, you'll find forward collision alerts, which is a lovely system, though you have to adjust the sensitivity down a little bit, because if you're like me and you want to gently nudge left lane squatters out of the way, it'll scream brake at you. Come on, Odyssey, I'm trying to drive like a jerk. <laughs> Other welcome features are blind spot alert and lane departure warning. I think of myself as an attentive driver, but it's not inconceivable that baby Musio will at some point distract me. <coughs> My child's age is only measured in weeks right now, but as she gets older, I imagine she will spread filth faster than a meth addled sewer rat. That's where Honda Vac comes into play. It's back here in the cargo area, but this long hose extends to all reaches of the interior. Meaning, no matter how far my daughter throws those mysterious poison berries she shouldn't be eating, Honda Vac will find it. Although you have to turn the engine on, otherwise it'll shut off after eight minutes, because you don't want to drain the battery. The only bummer is that the Honda Vac is only included on the Touring Elite trim, which costs more than $45,000. At least for that price, you also get a 12-speaker 5.1 surround sound system, a widescreen rear seat infotainment system with HDMI input, and every other feature Honda's willing to cram in an Odyssey. Of course, where minivans are concerned, interior layout matters most. The Honda Odyssey has seating for eight, seven in the LX trim. There's major cargo space behind the third row, and folding that third row is incredibly easy. Access to the third row is good, Less so if you have a child seat installed. A second row wide mode allows three child seats to be installed simultaneously. Though I think I'm good with just the one. Uh, if I recall, there's, there's a way to, um, let's see. Isn't there a, um, so flip it. Nope, 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 nope. For hauling stuff instead of people, you can slide the second row seats forward and then flip down the seat backs, but for maximum cargo, you have to remove them. And man, they are heavy. <sighs> it's worth mentioning that while the Kia Sedona and Toyota Sienna each offer indulgent second row captain's chairs featuring absurd legroom and integrated leg support, the Honda Odyssey does not. From a usability standpoint, the Odyssey is impeccably crafted with cubbies and cup holders and clever touches throughout. Intuitive design is a frequent Honda strength, and that's absolutely present in their minivan. I might be a dad, but I still care about handling and performance. To that end, the Honda Odyssey performs great with a eager yet efficient V6 and road holding that's remarkably better than you'd expect considering the smooth ride. I should point out that I've driven a Kia Sedona in a closed course environment and it handled pretty darn well. Perhaps a minivan track battle is in order. Just shy of $30,000, the base LX trim comes with power front seats, a backup camera, and an 8 inch touchscreen. That's great, but for only $3,300 more, the EX trim adds power sliding doors, 8 passenger seating, Honda's Lane Watch blind spot camera, and three zone climate control. The power tailgate is sadly reserved for the even pricier leather clad EXL trim. For a value priced alternative, the Kia Sedona can be had for as little as $27,000 or so, while the Toyota Sienna offers excellent usability and pricing similar to the Odyssey with just a touch more cargo space and the option to add all wheel drive. <laughs> Even with some excellent competitors and a brand new Odyssey due in 2017, this generation Honda Odyssey remains incredibly accommodating to humans of all size, with or without all the fancy features. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to enjoy Frozen in brilliant 5.1 clarity.